Hello, here's Eddie. Have you ever wondered if you smoke and you use one of these, these rather clever little lighters, they're much cleverer than people think. You know, you... Very clever because there's no battery and there's no flint. So you wonder, ever wondered how it works? Well, I'll tell you if you were interested in. Now, inside there, you have your gas and and you have your jet and your jet adjuster. But how does that spark come there? There's no battery and there's no flint. Well, I'll tell you the secret. Quartz is the secret. It's very clever because we discovered years ago that if you bend quartz or twist it, it produces a voltage on either side of the plate. So if you have a piece of crystal with connections on either side of it and you bend it, it will then produce this little tiny current of electricity which is about one volt, just over one volt. Now, how on earth do you get one volt to make a big spark enough to uh, to uh, get the gas to light? Well, it's simple actually. It works exactly the same way as your car ignition system. Because remember, your car battery is, uh, <coughs> is only 12 volts, and yet it produces a spark for the plugs um, of around about 15 to 20,000 volts. So, on a car you have a coil. you probably heard people talk about the coil. They tell you the coil's gone. Well, what a coil is, is what we call an auto transformer. And an auto transformer just steps up the voltage. It's a very efficient kind of transformer. Normally a transformer has a primary and secondary winding and uh, it steps up, it's a step up transformer, but by using an auto transformer where there's one single coil which is insulated and it's a very long coil, very thin wire, each wire transmits, steps it up, so the more coils you have, the more turns you have on, on it, the, uh, the greater the, the voltage will be on the spark. Now this little thing here if you have a look here underneath just below where the silver bit is you'll see there's a little it's very difficult but you'll, you'll see inside there that is the coil and it's several sounds <coughs> it's several meters long coiled up and it steps this one little bolt <laughs> up to something like 5,000 volts. Now don't worry, you, you can't get a shock, it can't kill you or anything because although the voltage is very high, the current is very low and it's current that kills, not it's not uh, voltage. Voltage is simply the potential difference between two items such as a battery Anyway, that's how it works. It steps up that voltage from just over one volt to thousands of volts so that it causes a spark and lights it. Clever, isn't it? And it's cheap because <coughs> they last quite a long time. Eventually the crystal, when they stop working, the crystal has been bent so many times that it it's no longer produces a proper voltage. Sometimes if you find they're not lighting and you leave them stand for a bit and then go back to them again you may find it starts spiking again but quartz is dirt cheap it's one of the most abundant things on earth like silicon um, in fact that's why all the modern technology and that is so cheap because <laughs> what they're using is so so abundant anyway I uh, hope you found this interesting I can tell you about a few other things, how they work, if you're interested. Uh, if anybody wants to message me, uh, on my website, 
you can comment on this or you can send me a, a, um, I am um, I if I get messages I usually reply if I can because I sometimes miss them but I would try and if somebody has any questions and wants to know something uh, perhaps you want to know how fluorescent, fluorescent light works <laughs> I, I can even explain how that works to you or, or even how a colour TV works but or a DVD or whatever I started in on working on Commodore 64 computers with this technology back in the 80s um, started off with kids coming in asking me if they knew somebody could repair their Commodore 64s and, uh, and I, if I didn't have a lot of work on I would say well leave it with me and I'll have a look and see what it was and I even eventually got to the stage where I was programming and writing software for them <laughs> uh, of course it was very small and very simple compared to what they're doing today but uh, today that it's got so complicated now it stops working <laughs> oh that's a, another little tip if you've got things like set box tops and uh, TVs or anything everything is run by computer today and if something goes wrong you can't change channels or can't turn off or or can't turn the volume and nothing seems to work you can save yourself money on an engineer simply by unplugging everything turning it off and switching it back on again because then it becomes like a computer and reboots and usually when it reboots it corrects the mistakes that occurred I usually get problems with my equipment because I'm too fast I'm impatient and I press the button and nothing happens I keep pressing the button and that tends to freeze things because the computer gets confused anyway that's all for now goodbye there's more to follow your cheerful Eddie the man with the experience watch some of my other videos you'll enjoy them goodbye